I'm Aaron. Hi, nice to meet you. If you just want to have a seat here, we'll get started. Okay. First thing we have to do is I'm just going to make a client code for you. It's going to be the first three letters of your mother's name. Uh, P-A-T. And your birthday? 830-84. All right, great. And the next thing we have to do, I'm just going to go over our consent form with you real quick. Okay. It's just going to explain the test process and some of your rights around testing. Um, first, it just says, my counselors explained the test process to me. I understand that I'll receive my test results today. Okay. What the test process is going to be is I'm going to prick your finger with a lancet. We're going to take a sample of blood that's going to go into our test kit to process. During that time, I'll ask you some questions and do a risk assessment with you. When that's over, you'll get your test results. The way that the results are given are either as reactive, which means that HIV antibodies were found in your blood, okay. or non-reactive, which means that no HIV antibodies were found in your blood. Okay. Do you understand that? I do. All right, great. Next, it just says, my counselor informed me of my right to confidentiality. That just means anything you say will um, stay between me and you. And then it says, I understand that the Minnesota AIDS Project is mandated to report all reactive test results to the Minnesota Department of Health, along with any identifying information you provide, such as a name, address, or telephone number. I'm not going to ask you for that information, so it's up to you whether or not you would like to provide that information. Okay. And then it says, I understand that if I do test HIV reactive and have chosen to give the Minnesota AIDS Project my name, address, or telephone number, that someone from the Minnesota Department of Health will contact you about your test result. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. And then it just says, I've been informed of the window period and understand that if I've been infected with HIV within the last three months that it may or may not be detected by this test. Um, are you familiar with the window period? I'm not. All right. What the, um, so basically, what the window period is, like I was saying before with the test results, the test is looking for HIV antibodies, which is your body's response to an HIV infection. It doesn't actually look for the HIV virus yourself. So it can take up to three months for your body to produce enough of those uh, HIV body antibodies to be detected by the test. So any risks that you've had in the last three months, if you've been infected with HIV within the last three months, it may or may not show up on the test. Okay. And then it just says, I understand that if I do test reactive, a confirmatory test is needed to verify the result. Uh, the Minnesota AIDS Project does not provide confirmatory testing, but we'd be able to refer you to a site that could provide that test for you. We could also assist you in setting up that appointment if you'd like. Okay. All right, and then just agree to being tested by signing an X, your client code, or your signature. Which hand would you like to use? The right second? Hand. All right, great. Sometimes the gloves don't like going on. It's okay. It's not like in the movies. <laughs> All right, first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to take this. It's an alcohol prep. It's going to clean the site okay. for the lancet. And I'm just going to use your middle finger right here. And then that just has to dry for a second. and easy. How much blood do you need to take? It actually just has to fill up to the black line here. If you just want to hold that there. All right, I have your result. Are you ready for your result? I am. 
All right, your test came back non-reactive, and like we talked about before, that means that no HIV antibodies were found in your blood. Okay. Uh, do you want a written result? Um, I would, please. All right. There you go. Well, thanks for coming in and have a great day. Thanks, you too.